we hear about the journey of Joseph and Mary, and it's described in a dream today in the Gospels. In fact, we, we witness three dreams, dreams that are far off in a distant land which is not familiar to any of them. Would we trust a dream to send us away? The decision to follow a dream is filled with dangers and risks. And yet, the dream is ever before each of us, and we cannot help but look to it and imagine in our minds what it might mean and how things might be different if we were to follow our dreams. What are the dreams which make us, the people of St. Francis Episcopal Church, look up? What is it that draws us forward as a church? What are the hopes that are born today in our midst that we want to encourage and honor as likely for new life in the future? I don't, or I'm sure that I don't have to tell you that there are many churches, Episcopal churches and other churches, whose main goal is keeping the doors open. That is their dream. And they follow that dream with gusto until, well, until either the doors close or until they realize that God has many other dreams which can guide us on our journey. In other words, what are the dreams that take us out there to do the work of God in our separate ministries? I firmly believe that if we follow those dreams, God will keep the doors open. God will bring people in. God will fill up the coffers of our budget. What about the dream of spiritual growth? What about the dream that draws us together into a caring community, a lively community, a comforting community of faith? What about the dream of faith exploration with young and old together? I know that uh, we're about to do a workshop on understanding our dreams here at St. Francis. What about the dream of pastoral care and outreach being done by all members of St. Francis? If our churches spent less time dwelling on survival, and more time focused on the kind of community we want to be, where would our journey take us? Who else might we draw to that dream? Will others join us on our journey because they too can see a dream of promise that is guiding us forward? For example, we really do have to find a solution that will limit greenhouse gases around the world. Our global climate is changing, and these changes are here because of wild human economic activity. And for those nations of the world, USA included, whose leaders have followed the dream of progress based on the burning of cheap fossil fuels, that make greenhouse gases, it has been hard to change the course on which we are traveling. But the dream is still driving us. The dream that is showing us a new way is so much stronger than the old dream which guided what we used to think of as our economic progress. The dream that now guides many people of the world is the dream of a sustainable planet, a world that will continue to be a healthy home for our children 
and of our children's children. A world that uses safer alternative sources of energy that have not even yet been fully developed or even discovered, like maybe harnessing the energy of the oceans. That is a marvelous dream which will only grow in intensity as the people of our world journey on into the future. Joseph and Mary were following a dream, many dreams. It took them far away from home and not always a safe place. They followed the way that they were being shown, even though they were not sure where it would take them. After all, they had to stop and ask for directions. It sounds an awful lot like where we often find ourselves, doesn't it? We have some idea of where we would like to go as we look to the future. We make our resolutions, and yet we know what kind of changes would make our lives better and our world better, but we have no idea of how to get there. And in the middle of all this, Jesus is born, and Jesus evades death at the hands of Herod. And Jesus grows through the pain and the joy. And Jesus would, in a short time, teach us more than we ever knew before about hope and teach us more than we've ever known about love and about what God's dream is doing in the world. May the dreams that drive us forward on our travels through this world, be also the dreams that help us to set life-giving priorities. May we not be stopped when our high hopes and our dreams carry us off into scary places and on journeys that ask us to search for the true dreams of our lives, the dream of the light of the world, the dream of the presence of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.